I recently applied for a credit limit increase with Navy Federal More Rewards American Express card. And guess what? I got denied. It pissed me off. And then the reason I got denied is kind of a stupid reason too. I believed in the 913 rule applied for everything. In this video, we're going to debunk some myths about the 913 rule and reasons you possibly got denied and how not to get denied. Let's talk about it. Welcome to Level Up Finance, where we talk about money, mindset, on the road to get millions. On this episode, we're going to talk about how to not get denied for a credit limit increase from Navy Federal. Let's talk about two reasons why you want a credit limit increase. One of the main reasons to help out your utilization, your credit card utilization. If you got a $1,000 card and you spend $500 on it, that's automatically 50% utilization. That don't look that good. But if you had a $10,000 credit card and then you spend the same $500, that's only 5%. That's nothing. So with the increase, it help out utilization a lot. And another reason, it makes your credit profile look nice. If you got a whole bunch of uh, $1,000 credit cards earlier in the year and by the end of the year, all of them at five, $6,000, it's helping out your credit profile because if a bank look at your credit now and they see all those little limits turn into big limits they're like okay this guy's doing something right you know he's more lendable to me you know like i trust him if this bank trust him and we basically have the same type of criteria here's a big credit card too here's a loan too you know we trust you because look at your credit profile I look amazing now let's talk about my denial my denial i got denied because there was a recent change to my credit line to this account my first navy federal credit card was 500 dollars. this was back in 2020 boom september 2020 now in march oh you know march of 2021 an increase to 1500 and this is the same credit card but you, you can see it started you know that's the one that started in september and now you know february boom it's an increase to 1500 so i waited six months to ask for an increase before you know i could have waited three months but i get to that now by um august of 2021 it's 4500 maybe federal all right you could tell it's the same credit card because boom it starts in september so as you see my last increase was around august of 2021 and it's now january of 2022 and I got denied for an increase. So the 913 rule when it comes to increases don't exist. It's a myth. You know, when you first initially get your credit card, you could get a credit line increase within three months. 913. When you first get your credit card. After that, it's six months all the time. All right. Six months, not no 913 because I heard it from the time I got Navy Federal. Every three months, you could get a credit line increase and you could get a new credit card. You can get a new credit card up to three, but as far as credit line increases in three months, you only could do it when you initially get your credit card. After that, six months. Now, these are some of the reasons you could get denied for a credit line increase. Your Navy Federal account is too new. There has recently been a change to the credit line on this account. And the reason to them is five months ago, delinquent past or present credit obligation with others. That's not a good thing. Income sufficient for amount of credit requested. If you make 10 grand a year and you're asking for like a $20,000, $30,000 increase, $10,000 increase, they're going to be like, that don't make any sense. So you're going to get denied excessive credit obligation if you got mad loans out there if you got car loans if you got a whole bunch of um, credit cards with balances on it yeah you look bad excessive credit obligations in relation to income if you make fifty thousand dollars a year and you're in ninety thousand dollars of debt yeah it doesn't look good so what i say all the time your credit line i mean your credit utilization is very important to keep that low as possible if you can 
because it makes your credit profile look good and make you not look desperate. So lenders look at you like, all right, here's more money. Here's a bigger credit line increase. You want some more money? Okay, here you go. So if you keep your account looking good, paying your credit cards on time and keep your credit profile looking nice too, you will get increases all the time. So just know it's not going to be every three months. It's going to be every six months after you, you initially get your credit card. All right. So hopefully you learned something. If you did, please give me one of these. Subscribe if you're not already subscribed. I'll talk to you on the next one. All right. Level up.